everyone welcome to the book and notes this video is for class 11 student searching for the notes of physics chapter 3 kinematics this is part 1 motion in the straight line this is in reference with physics wala the topics are rectilinear motion reference points and many others let's start the motion of object along the straight line is called rectilinear motion reference point the point of intersection of the three mutually perpendicular axes labeled x, y and z axis of a rectangular coordinate system is called origin and serves as a reference point. Frame of reference The coordinate system along with a long a clock constitute frame of reference. Path length The distance traveled is called path length. Path length is a scalar quantity. It has magnitude and no direction. Displacement The shortest dis distance between the initial and the final position is called displacement and note it is a vector quantity. Uniform motion A uh, object moving along a straight line covers equal distance in equal interval of time then it is said to be in uniform motion. Non-uniform motion A body is said to be in non-uniform motion if its velocity changes with time. There is a question which will help you to understand something about displacement and distance and let's see find the distance traveled by as a particle moves from a to b here the distance traveled by the particle from a to b is 2 pi r by 4 and pi r by 2 see and you can understand and note that and the next question is to find the distance between the particle from a to c and a to d and when the particle completes one revolution and you can note the answers below them all these video lecture are from physics wala old video lecture now their question asking that you have also to find the displacement from a to b a to c and a to d i am scrolling down you can note all them Now the next question is a body travels from A to B at 40 meter per second and B to A at 60 meter per second. Calculate the average speed and velocity. You can try yourself and if you are unable to do that you can take reference from the answer. I am scrolling down. Now the third question is, on a track, 60, meter, 60 km track, a train travels the first 30 km with a uniform speed of 30 km per hour. How fast must the travel the next 30 km as, the, as to average 40 km per hour for the entire trip? You must try to solve your own, otherwise you can also try to take help from the answer. Now the third question is, a body covers one third of its journey with the speed u, next one third with the speed v and the last one third with the speed w. Calculate the average speed of the body during the entire journey. If you have seen the lectures of physics wala, then you it will be easy for you to solve. Otherwise, you can also take the help from the handwritten answers. And you must try to draw the diagram for more simplicity. Now the another question is a body traveling along a straight line transverts to one half of the total distance with a velocity v0. The remaining part of the distance was covered with v1 for half of the time and the velocity v2 
for other half of the time find the mean velocity averaged over the whole time of the motion and the answer to this question is here Now the another question is find the displacement from A to B if theta is 120 degree. You can use the displacement formula 2R is equal to sin theta by 2. Another question. A wheel of radius R is rolling on the road which will be the displacement of a point P in half rotation of the wheel on the road the answer is here now the another question a man goes from a to b at b1 speed and returns from b to a at v2 speed find the average speed and average velocity it is very easy you can try yourself And the answer of this question is here. Now the another question is here. The bus cover half distance at speed V and remaining half distance at speed V1 for one third of the time and V2 for two third of the time. Find average speed. The solution is here. Now the another question is here. A man covers a distance with the speed v1 and v2 for two equal time. You can solve the answer. It's very easy. Now the topic is instantaneous velocity. Here at instantaneous velocity the time period must be very small and we know v instantaneous is equals to ds by dt. And some of the questions related to instantaneous velocity are find v at t is equal to 1 second, 2 second and 3 second if s is equal to t square. You have to differentiate the distance s then you will get velocity and put the value of the t. Now the another question if s is equal to t square find average velocity between 1s and 3s second. Average velocity formula is simple total displacement upon total time s2 minus s1 divided by t2 minus t1 and you can get the answer by putting the value. Now another question s is equal to t cube minus 60 square find the velocity of t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 3 second and t is equal to 2 second. We know v instantaneous given here s is equal to t cube minus 60 square and v instantaneous therefore will be 3t square minus 12t and you have to put the value of t here. Now another question find the time when body is at rest where s is equal to t cube minus 60 square. You can find the answer. Now another question s is equal to 3t square plus 4t plus 9. Find velocity at t is equal to 2 second and average velocity between 1 to 45. Here given s is equals to 3t square plus 4t plus 9. Here a v average formula is equal to s2 minus s1 by t2 minus t1. Then you can find the answer. Now the last topic here of this part 1 is acceleration. Acceleration formula is v2 minus v1 upon delta t is equal to delta v by delta t. Here a average is equal to v2 minus v1 by t2 minus t1 and a instantaneous is equal to dv by dt. It is the formula here. Now the question is v is equal to 2t square minus 4t find acceleration at t is equal to 3 second then average a, a average from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 3 second answer of the last section was here 
Now the another question is s is equal to t cube minus 60 square find the acceleration when body is at rest answer is here now the last question is s is equals to t cube minus 60 square find the displacement when the body is at rest you can find the answer or see the solution thank you for the love and support and please do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel for more such updates